Despite the fact that for only two years of our friendship, we lived in the same country. Yeah. <laughs> so, true. Yeah. yeah, and I just got back into America last night and I got invited to a video with her. <laughs> so, here we are. So, here we are. Um, today, we're just going to talk a little bit about my trip. I just got back from Kansas City. Kara just got back from Australia. Um, and I think it would be our good first coffee talk day. Except I don't have <laughs> coffee. <laughs> We had tea earlier. Anyway, so um, you guys know that I'm a freshman at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Uh, I chose traditional schooling after high school. Kara did not, so we're going to kind of talk about both sides of that today. Um, I went to Kansas City this weekend, as you saw in all the clips before. We just did some shopping and a lot of time spent in the car, which is why like all my footage is in the car. Um, but I did buy a lot of stuff, so that'll be a video for Thursday showing you everything that I got and how to style it. But yeah, so sometimes you just need a chill break from college because it is like a long routine of you going to school every day of the week. Well, for me, I go Monday through Friday. Um, some people only have it through Thursday, but you kind of get in this routine that you need a break from. So mm -hmm. I went to Kansas City to go shopping, cut my shirt short a little bit so I could be there with Kara got home. Um, I never... Uh, do you want to tell them about non-traditional schooling? Yeah. Um, so originally I was going to go to college. Um, her and I were going to work together. I got and ditched. And then I <laughs> broke both of our hearts when I decided not to go. Yeah. Um, and um, But just like the more I looked into it, like the less passion I felt about it. And I had no idea what I wanted to study. I had no idea what I wanted to do. And I was just like... I don't know if I can do it. Like, I feel like I'm just going to be wasting my time or like nothing impactful or different is going to happen. And so, because I'm a colleges. person that like, <laughs> I'm a person that's like, I love personal growth. And so if like I'm doing something that's not growing me or not challenging me, then it just feels like time wasted. And mm -hmm. so I knew I wanted to do is something that was actually going to like make me feel like I had progression as a person. And yeah. I just didn't think that college was going to do it. So I ended up going to Australia for six months abroad. 
and I just got back last night and it was one of the best experiences of my <laughs> life. I had so much fun and I met so many amazing people and just learned so much about myself and what I believe and yeah, it was so good. <laughs> and I'm incredibly jet lagged. <laughs> <laughs> so that's non-traditional, you know? Not everybody has to go to school. School's definitely not for everybody. For a while I didn't think it was gonna be for me. Um, Freshman year is hard, it's a hard transition. And so it's kind of different for everybody. I'm glad I came to college, but I do wish I could have like traveled first, but scholarship wise, you know, that yeah. doesn't work out. <laughs> but that's why there's study abroad opportunities. So, I mean, you shouldn't feel forced to go to college. It's definitely mm -hmm. not for everybody. Like, yeah. I just remember like the first month, I just thinking like, Kara would have hated <laughs> this. Like, this would not have been for yeah. you. You'd be like, no, never nope. mind. <laughs> Do what you're passionate about. Do what makes you happy. True. And even if it's not the popular yeah. opinion, or even if it's not what your parents want. I mean, it's your life. It's not your parents. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah don't be afraid to take risks. Risks are the best thing you can do mm -hmm. in life. Honestly. Yes. Like, yeah. And even if what you are passionate about, what you want to do, is the more traditional thing, don't feel like you have to do something super out of the box in That's order to true. have a good life. Like. If you just follow whatever you're passionate about, then you're gonna get there. And if you like stay loyal to your own passions instead of going whichever way you think you should, mm -hmm. then you good. Right? Then you good. You good. Have a good life. Thanks for hanging out with us, guys, and I will see you all on Thursday for a try on clothing haul.